Hello my dear students, welcome back to our channel. We were discussing the chapter statistics. So far we discussed measures of dispersion, say mean deviation, standard deviation and all. We know if these measures of dispersion are very high, we say that the data are more scattered or more variable. And if it is less, we say the data are more consistent. But you may notice that uh, these measures of dispersion have the same units in which uh, the data are given. So we cannot compare the variability of two series with the same mean which are measured in different units. For example, I will say if we have two data measured in two different units. For example, uh, one data we have in meters or centimeters. For example, we can say heights of some students in a class or distance traveled by or like that they have the unit uh, meter or centimeters and uh, the another data we have in uh, some other units say liters milliliters like that then how will we compare the variability of these two datas the all measures of variability we have studied so far has units so we cannot compare different units so we need another measure of variability that is independent of unit that we are going to discuss here. So today we will see coefficient of variation. A measure of a variability which is independent of units. Okay, we can see. So analysis of frequency distributions. We are defining the coefficient of variation denoted by CV. Defined by Sigma by x bar into 100, x bar not equal to 0. We know sigma is standard deviation and uh, x bar is the mean. If we have some data which is measured in uh, some unit uh, say meter, then its mean x bar will be also in the same unit meter and also standard deviation sigma will also be in the same unit meter. Then while taking its ratio, the units will cancel out and uh, it will become independent of unit. So, we can use a coefficient of variation to compare the variability of two series with the different units. So, if a CV is very high, we can say that uh, the series is more variable. The series with a lesser CV will be more consistent than the other one. We can see examples, then it will be more clear. Before going to the example, we can see how to compare a two frequency with the same mean. Very simple, we need not be bothered about mean. So, we can compare only using standard deviation. That is, we can say for two series with the equal means, the series with the greater standard deviation or variance is called a more variable. And the series with the lesser value of standard deviation or variance is said to be more consistent than the other. We can see it easily. Suppose we have two distributions with the first distribution having mean x1 bar and a standard deviation sigma 1 and a second distribution with the mean x2 bar and a standard deviation sigma 2. Then what is a coefficient of variation for first distribution? We can say it is sigma 1 by x1 bar into 100 and for second distribution it is sigma 2 by x, x2 bar into 100. If this mean is equal, what will be the coefficient of variation? It will be if x1 bar is equal to x2 bar is equal to some x bar, then it will be first case, it will be sigma 1 by x bar into 100 and uh, in second case, CV is sigma 2 by x bar into 100. So, we can compare directly by seeing sigma 1 and uh, sigma 2. We can see examples. First example, very simple. Two plants A and uh, B of a factory show following results about the number of workers and uh, the wages paid to them. Number of workers, uh, first plant uh, 5000, second plant 6000. Average monthly wages equal for two plants that is uh, 2500 and a variance of distribution of wages 81 for a and 100 for b in which plant a or b is there greater variability in individual wages 
here given for planned a variability or variance we can say sigma 1 square is equal to 81 and for planned b variance is 100 so easily we can say for planned b variance is greater so of course standard deviation is greater for a planned b and a since it have same average that is x bar is equal to say 2500 here so we can say series with more variance have more variability in wages or otherwise here sigma 1 is equal to 9 here sigma 2 is equal to 10 here we can say sigma 2 is greater than sigma 1 so the plan with the greater standard deviation will have more variability that is plan b has more variability Next example, coefficient of variation of two distributions are 60 and 70 and their standard deviations are 21 and 16 respectively. What are their arithmetic means? Here given coefficient of variation for a two data and also its standard deviation. We have to find their arithmetic means. So we can write the given data. Coefficient of variation for first distribution is 60 and also standard deviation sigma 1 is equal to 21. Like that coefficient of variation for second distribution is 70 and uh, its standard deviation is equal to 60. We have to find x1 bar and uh, x2 bar. Take the arithmetic mean of first distribution as x1 bar and uh, second distribution as x2 bar. So, we know the formula for coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is equal to sigma by x bar into 100. So, coefficient of variation for first distribution is sigma 1 by x1 bar into 100. So, substitute the given values. Here, sigma 1 is equal to 21 and the coefficient of variation is 60. So, we can write 60 is equal to 21 by x1 bar into 100. So, we can write x1 bar is equal to 21 by 60 into 100, which is equal to 35. Like that, we can write coefficient of variation for a second distribution is equal to sigma 2 by x2 bar into 100. Substitute the given values, 70 is equal to sigma 2 is 60 by x2 bar into 100. So, we can write x2 bar is equal to 16 by 70 into 100 which is equal to 22.85. So, we can say arithmetic mean for first distribution is 35 and arithmetic mean for second distribution is 22.85. Next example, the following values are calculated in respect of heights and uh, weights of the students of a section of class 11. Here mean and uh, variance of height and uh, weight are given. Can we say that uh, the weights show greater variance than the heights? We know height and uh, weight is in different units. Height in centimeter and uh, weight in kilogram. So we cannot compare uh, merely by seeing mean and uh, variance. We need measure of variability that is independent of unit that is we need coefficient of variation so we can find coefficient of variation for height and weight we know the formula for coefficient of variation is equal to sigma by x bar into 100 so we can find sigma for height is equal to square root of variance that is square root of 127.69 which is equal to 11.3 centimeter and also standard deviation for weight we can see square root of variance that is square root of 23.1361 which is equal to 4.81 kg x bar we have so we can find coefficient of variation for height and weight for height which is equal to 11.3 by x bar is 162.6 162.6 into 100 which is equal to 6.95 like that coefficient of variation for weight we can say 
4.81 divided by x bar is 52.36 into 100 which is equal to 9.18. So, coefficient of variation is high for weight than height. So, we can say weight show more variance than height. So, this is all about today. So, our chapter is over. We can see question paper discussion in the next video. So, what are things we studied in this chapter? Measures of dispersion. First one, range. How we find a range? Range is simple. Maximum value minus minimum value will give range. Next, we need another measure of dispersion that is mean deviation. We have seen mean deviation about mean and a mean deviation about median for ungrouped data and a grouped data. Grouped data, again, we have two cases, discrete frequency distribution and a continuous frequency distribution. Mean deviation about a mean for ungrouped data, we can say sigma xi minus x bar by n, where x bar is the mean. We know mean for ungrouped data is equal to sigma xi by n. Like that, mean deviation about mean for ungrouped data is sigma i from 1 to n, xi, mod xi minus m by n, where m is the median. We know how to find median, just arrange the data in ascending or descending order, then find the middle value. If we have old number of data, then median is the n plus 1 by 2th observation. And if we have even number of data, then median is the mean of n by 2th and n by 2 plus 1th observation. We have discussed it in detail. And for grouped data, this formula becomes mean deviation about mean is equal to sigma fi into mod xi minus x bar by capital N, where N is the total frequency sigma fi and uh, x bar is the mean sigma xi into fi by capital N. Similarly, mean deviation about median is sigma fi into mod xi minus m by capital N, where capital N is the total frequency sigma fi. And here we have to know how to find median. For discrete frequency data and for continuous frequency data, we have different method. For discrete frequency data, first arrange the data in ascending order, then find the cumulative frequency. Then median is the observation whose cumulative frequency is equal to capital N by 2 or just greater than capital N by 2. And uh, for continuous uh, frequency distribution, I like that just uh, arrange the data in ascending order, then find the cumulative frequency. Then we have to find median class first. Median class is the class interval with the cumulative frequency just greater than capital N by 2. Then we have a formula M is equal to L plus N by 2 minus C by F into X, where L is the lower limit of the median class. F is the frequency of the median class, X is the width of the median class and C is the cumulative frequency of the class just preceding median class and N is the total frequency. And also in case of continuous frequency distribution, Xi are the mid value of each class interval. Like that we have studied how to find standard deviation for ungrouped data and grouped data. Standard deviation is nothing but square root of variance. Variance the formula is equal to for ungrouped data sigma xi minus x bar square by n and for grouped data sigma fi into xi minus x bar square by capital N. And the standard deviation is nothing but a sigma, small letter sigma, positive square root of variance. And finally we have studied coefficient of variation that is Sigma by x bar into 100. Also, we have studied shortcut method or step deviation method to find a mean. And thereby mean deviation about mean and also standard deviation.
In step deviation method, we are defining a new variable, di or yi, anything, by xi minus a by h, where a is the assumed mean. We have discussed this. Assumed mean is almost a medial value. And it is the common factor for this deviation. We can use this formula to find a mean for any data, for ungrouped data and for grouped data anywhere. So this is all about this chapter, a simple chapter. We have to study only one or two formulas. So we can discuss more questions from this chapter in the next video. See you in the next video. If you find this video useful, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.